What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. And this video is a thank you for 100K for me hitting 100,000 subscribers. Now, originally I wasn't gonna do a video uh, talking about this and, and thanking everybody involved for this because to me, it kind of really isn't a big deal and I didn't really feel like it's much it's much of an accomplishment like you've never really seen me mention reaching 100k you know you never see me talk about subscriber count at all um but for one my wife definitely mentioned like yo it is an accomplishment she's been more excited about it than me i really haven't cared um and that sounds you know it sounds un ungrateful um so it is true that i do owe it to the viewers and the and the supporters to uh show some gratitude even though it may not be like this huge milestone that I was really uh, caring about, I do definitely owe people, you know, a, a thing. So that's why I'm that's why I'm doing it. Um, and you know, I I still don't consider myself a big YouTuber. Like, even though I'm hitting 100k, like I don't have the big numbers. Even though, like, yes, all all the channel metrics and the numbers, you know, with everything with the channel has grown. Obviously, um, you know, with the viewership with any type of video and the subscribers and you know all all those numbers um i do consider myself uh, a small youtuber because you know i don't i don't get those like big numbers and everything like that you know debt i get when you do it for this long i've been doing it since college since 2008 you get dead subscribers and a, and a whole you know your view to sub ratio is lower and all, all that stuff right there's a plenty of people doing um, much better numbers than me. And, you know, that's not necessarily a big deal to me. I'm happy with what my channel is. And, uh, you know, YouTube is, especially since YouTube is a side gig for me, like it's, I'm not like one of these full-time YouTubers who relies on YouTube for anything. It's literally just a hobby and passion and everything like that. Um, so I think that's, you know, all those factors is why it's not, it wasn't a big deal to me, but nevertheless, I still owe people, um, a thank you. <clears throat> So some people that I definitely need to thank are like everybody in the discord and, and the people who I consider uh, the regulars and the leaders in the discord, because my discord has become like a, just a very fun place. Um, it's very active and, it, and there's literally a community in there. And to be honest, bro, I don't pay attention to a lot of the shit that happens in my discord. And but I have like leaders in there who take care of everything like there's people who there's changes that happen in there there's shit that goes down in there that i literally have no idea about like i'm I, it's it's i'm damn near a visitor to my own discord because other people other people control it like i put other people in power to control it and i and i just like stop in there and just say some shit and like have fun sometimes like you know so shout out to all the regulars man um Definitely, you know, I got an like I don't want to name drop too many people. I don't want other people to feel left out. But I I acknowledge all y'all who's in there because I interact with y'all. Like and shout out to all the you know people who just contribute to conversations in there and everything like that. If you're not part of this the Discord, you need to get a part of it. You know, you can get access through supporting our Patreon and all that stuff. Speaking of the Patreon, gotta support, gotta uh, shout out everybody who supported the Weapon Wheel Patreon. The the Patreon is very healthy. Um, you know, and the the Patreon, the people who support the Patreon, you know, d definitely deserve a big thanks because I'm going to get to this a little bit later. But y'all are literally the people who enable uh, me to put money into the pocket of the podcast members because I don't take any of that money. And um, so, you know, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be uh, possible without without y'all. Right. Y'all, you know financially monetarily support the podcast and the channel through memberships that that that's a you know that that's a big deal um you know people who uh you know just support in any type of way like that definitely def definitely appreciate you like the viewers on the audio platforms um whether you 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 listen to the podcast on audio platforms like iTunes or or uh or Spotify uh view it and watch it on YouTube Shout out to all the people who send super chats on a weekly basis on any live stream. Super thanks also. Any type of donations, thank you. Um, Twitter, you know, people who follow me on, on Twitter, 
shout out to y'all. Um, y'all know I've been suspended on on Twitter uh, a shit ton of times, more times um, than I can remember or, or or I can count. There was a point where I had uh, like 10k over 10k subscribe uh, followers on Twitter, and um, I lost all of that, and now I'm kind of about to be back there. So. Uh, shout out to y'all. Def- definitely appreciate that. To speak on the podcast, the podcast is what I'm most proud of. Um, you know, Weapon Wheel has received more views and seen more growth uh, like the the latter half of last year um, into the into this year than ever before. We've seen, you know, more growth in the last uh, 12 months than ever before. We're, we literally get more views now than any point in our history and we've been doing this podcast since 2015 so it's been like eight nine years so we're getting more views more growth uh than ever before some episodes hitting 30 40 50k some episodes literally have hundreds of thousands of views um whatever whatever is causing that whether it be the algorithm um some topics just you know, really standing out and causing and causing more viewership and, and people, uh, you know, finding the podcast, um, discovering the podcast for the first time. Um, people from places that I would never uh, predict that would be watching the podcast. People from Germany, uh, Australia, Russia, because I can see this all in the uh, YouTube uh, analytics and and they and they comment um, sometimes that they're from these places. So people from all over the world uh, watch that watch this podcast, surprisingly. So um, shout out to them. Definitely appreciate y'all. Um, and b- back to what I want to say about the Patreon, uh, you know, it's a big deal to me because that money goes to the members. Right. And it's the Patreon has has received more funding than, than ever before. And it's it, to me, it's a big deal that I have members and I'm able to put money in these dudes pockets. Is this is this money like life changing? Like it's going to, you know, allow them to quit their jobs? No. But is it going to is this that they get enough money bro? they can cover some groceries, cover some other random purchases that they want to buy, um, just cover all their gaming expenses, all that stuff. Like they, they're able to do uh, some things. It ain't. It, it's not chump change. It's not life changing. It's not gonna allow you to quit your job, but it ain't chump change either. So you know, and once again, the uh, you know all the patrons make that possible, right? I think that's like a bit. We we take it for granted, but like to create. An intellectual property, because that's what Weapon Wheel is. You know, that's technically what all podcasts are. Um, it's an intellectual property. It's an idea that you know I turned into an LLC. I've trademarked and copyrighted the podcast and the logo and all that stuff. And it's this entity that you know through the people, um, you know, you know, fun, you know, ha- has a a, a uh, you know a source of money coming in. That I'm able to give to these, to these, uh, to the members, and I think that's that's a big deal. Like I said, I'm not doing it on a huge scale. Like I'm not a company that's like you know giving them health insurance and I'm giving them a 401k and and a, and a huge check every every two weeks. But even to do that on a small scale, that's you know I think that's meaningful. That's that's really you know meaningful, and I'm and I'm proud and and, and happy to do that. You know that's definitely why I'm you know, really proud of the podcast and the podcast. One of the things I think in life is like when you have a career, when you, when you have a job and a career, I think it's important to have something outside of that, that you own, that nobody can tell you nothing about, right? I have it trademarked, like I said, and um, copyrighted. And it's, it's something that, listen, even it's, it's not like this huge thing, like I said, but listen, I could, Take, you know, make the podcast go as, as long as I want. If I ever wanted to stop doing it, like, listen, I could even have somebody else continue it, continue it for me, pass it down. It's, it's, it's something that has value is what I'm saying. So even on a small scale, I don't know, something to pass down to your, to your freaking kids or something like that, you know, who knows what it could become. 
is, is the point. So it's the fact that it has value and, you know, it's, it's really um, something that came from, you know, your own brain. And I think that's, uh, I, you know, I just think that's, that's meaningful. And as far as like the future of the podcast, like I don't have any like, of course, growth, doing a few new things, but I don't have any necessarily grant, no, no like grandiose idea, idea to, to make it into, you know, something, um, something else, uh, you know, just continue to be what it is, what it is now, a, a podcast that focuses on, on games. Um, that's not an, not an echo chamber chamber. We talk about games, we have fun, fun, and we get different perspectives. You know, that's, that is very important to me. So shout out to all the members, um, Bond, Jack, Alex, um, Blandrew, Smooth, uh, shout out to Jimmy, shout out to, um, shout out to, uh, Red Infamy, um, yeah, so, you know, all the guests who have, uh, you know, who have come on to the podcast and created, uh, contributed and created great moments, all that good shit, shout out to everybody, man, um, all the people who I've played games with who I, who are like regulars that I literally interact with, you know, on, on the daily, um, in, in discord or, or on Twitter, you know, all the people that, you know, some what from one way or another, you've just become well acquainted with, uh, and you, you just have known for years on, on, uh, you know, on the internet because of Twitter, because of YouTube, because, you know, all, all, all this shit why the podcast is also such a huge accomplishment is because we have a lot of haters there are a lot of haters bro like and there are a lot of people who wanted to see the podcast fail there are a lot of people who said and wanted our podcast to be dead and wanted it to die and said it was it, it, it was dead but we're literally doing better than ever before so and that's and that's due to focus that's that's due to ignoring and ignoring that type of shit. You know, you just you just focus on what's in front of you because while they're focused on you, you're focused on yourself. So that's what happens. I don't give none of that credit to myself. Like I said, I'm the least important person on on Weapon Wheel. I'm the least important person. I'm just I'm I'm just the I'm the producer in the studio. I'm the producer behind the scenes. They are the artists. Right. I'm 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 the behind the scenes guy. I do. I take care of all the logistics, but they perform. I'm just here enjoying it, being a part of it. Um, and that's what I that's what I like. That's what I like, man. And going back to the future of the podcast, the podcast is not always going to be the same. Like as as you all have seen, like it's very possible the podcast. I'm sure the podcast is going to change some way in the future. Right. Everything can't stay the same forever. So change will obviously and in inevitably come in one way or, or another. But it will always be Weapon Wheel Podcast and will always be focused on games and always be focused, you know, on on having fun conversations on there and real conversations. And uh yeah. Um so, you know, especially when things people get older, um and uh, you know, some some life changes happen you know adjustments will be made i'm like i don't have any intention to ever really ending the podcast and in, in in the future um some adjustments and uh some adjustments and, and changes will obviously be made uh you know due to lifestyle and shit like that but ending no i don't really have any um intention for that like i said thank you to everybody all the viewers current um, past, future, uh, everybody who's helped can contributed. Shout out to all the other podcasts out there um, that I that I think I inspired because you know there are people who have told me that they that they were inspired by by Weapon Wheel. Um, so and just by me in general, uh, since I've been doing this shit for so damn, so damn long on here. So shout out to, you know, shout out to y'all. Um, appreciate 
everybody who's a supporter. Uh, when I, I guess when I get that YouTube plaque, I guess if they send me one, I'll put it right next to the baby logo. I guess I'll put it probably right there or maybe behind Barrett right there, I guess. Um, we'll see. Uh, all right. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.